Hi and welcome to Hydra Center. Um, I just want to address a couple of issues that people are asking us about what system is the best one for them. Um, it may be different for each person. So let's look at the three different systems which are the most popular for our growers. Now, um, first of all, um, I apologize for the background noise, but we're on a major road. So here we go. Um, we can see tomatoes growing quite healthy, basil, uh, some uh, other herbs in there somewhere. Um, this looks like it's going very well, but capsicum in there and so on. Now this is very simple. We've got a channel um, and we're, we're taking the nutrient from the tank and we're feeding it up, here's my bump there, up through the system and it's going to run down the channel run down the channel and back to the tank. In the meantime the roots themselves are going to be in the channel itself. You can see that. Focus. Yeah. So the roots are hanging out in the channel there. And if I can see an empty hole you can actually see plants are just growing in the roots on there. I'm sorry if you can't see that, I'm hoping it comes out. Anyway, so we've actually built a frame here to support all this and it's actually bulging at the top there. They're pretty vigorous plants. The NFT system works really well for the people that are actually going to be an enthusiast and like to play with the system a little bit rather than the home grower which is more concerned about what they grow. However, it's a very inexpensive way of growing a large number of plants which is why, why commercial growers use it so often. Um, so it's recirculated and we change that tank every week to four weeks depending on the size of the tank we end up using. Next system I'd like to show you is an easier version of this. Okay on, on the face of it this uh, looks like another channel system but it's actually completely level. Uh, it's not flowing from one end to the other it's actually completely stationary. So again um, these plants are a little bit younger because by the size, but they've certainly got plenty of tomatoes on there and basil and some other herbs and stuff in there, and we're working on getting a lot more happening. So what we're doing here, I'll pull one plant out, is that they're growing in about a source of depth of nutrient. So we're only filling the channel to about half full or less. So the pots can... Uh, can soak the nutrient up in this media we call perlite. So if the majority of the roots are still inside the pot, this system works very well. If That's why we've got a larger pot here than we do in an FT. Um, because the majority of the roots will be out of the water. And if we were to do this on a passive scale, I've got one over here. Okay, so what I have here is a solo kit without any plants in it, so it's easier for me to show you how this works. So here we have a, um, an, a fitting at the end here which we can adjust. So this actually acts in as an um, overflow. So if the rain was to fill it up, it would overflow the system. And usually we would only fill it up to halfway. By tilting that, we can control the um, depth of the water. If we want to connect it to another one, we could actually have it sideways connecting to that. And if we needed to, whoop, there you go, we can put it downwards to drain. Um, so the pot, you put the, the plant in the pot, you can put a seed directly into it or a cutting directly into the perlite and the perlite will soak up nutrient from the channel and the plant will grow. Seems very simple, but what is interesting is if we come back over here, excuse me while I trip over myself, there we go. Um, so what we've done here in this system here is we've actually connected this channel to this channel. Why have we done that? Well, we started with a tank down here full of nutrient and we're pumping it up through here into the channel which connects in the other side to here then comes back out here, back into here comes out that one, back into this one and then the overflow runs back down here and that is all powered by a solar panel but I recommend 240 volt for most people because solar is not reliable enough for me in most cases this system 
uh, is just a variation on the hand water system. Go back to the this one over here. So you would hand water that until it's got uh, water and about halfway in it. And when it's empty, do it again. Or you can connect them all together, put them on a stand. You could put them up a fence wall. You could make a vertical garden. You can put them along a fence uh, and, and, and customize it and just connect it together so that you can run water into the other. And when it falls out the other end, all of them will have uh, a small amount of nutrient in each one, which is just ideal. So that's one way to make that automatic. Um, another way to make it automatic is to use a gravity valve. Here I have a valve, and I'll just pull that out. And we'll have a look at it. So this valve has two floats, a uh, top float and a bottom float. And what it does is it knows when the tray is uh, about empty and knows when it's half full. So it keeps filling up to there and waits until it's gone before filling up again. So you can put one of these valves in the channel and make it automatic because what happens is the water flows water flows into here um, from a gravity system. I'll go and show you a gravity system and you get some idea how this is going to work. So um, you could make it completely electricity free. If I go back over to here this is what we call a network system. Now this is uh, growing quite a range of plants and I've got people with hundreds of, let's open the shade house, hundreds of plants. You've got uh, your fruit growing there and your tomatoes, uh, some red ones up there, bring them down here and some capsicums and so on. And this way it works off having a tank here and then a valve underneath and then by connecting these together and so on all the way down they can share nutrient. I'll demonstrate. Okay while I balance this one I've pulled it out of the pot you can see that there actually is water in the base of each one of them and by connecting those water bases together they can share the nutrient which is controlled by the valve in the tank. I'll just pop this down again. So as, so, as long as we uh, keep that tank full, or connect a bigger tank, please believe me, I've got people who have got tanks, you know, 500 litre tanks, and they only fill this system up uh, every three months or so. So um, uh, you can make a system very simple. Uh, and I've also fitted nine on this, uh, sorry, nine pots, or eight plant growing ones of one brain, on this pallet so I can move it in and out every day. But there's nothing stopping you from having them uh, two meters apart, as long as they're on the same level, it will work fine. And uh, growing anything up to a fruit tree, not a problem at all. So um, that's a very popular system too. So just to recap, three of the most popular systems are the NFT system, which is it suits the people that want to do it yourself, build a system, have all sorts of gadgets, and play with it. Um, a solo system, which suits people that want to buy one channel. Um, which might be 50 to 70 dollars or something like that to get a channel and to add on and, and grow as you as you need to and the uh, long term so what would this suit this this system would suit somebody that's going to grow a plant that's going to last for a while so uh, a tomato plant might be in there for 12 months uh, a fruit tree might be in there for a long time uh, a lot of herbs might grow there for a long time and, and remember you could probably grow uh, four uh, plants into a, a a container that big so each pot might grow four small plants or a couple of large ones uh, whereas the uh, channel system here which is called the solo system well it suits people of shorter term so those two systems work really well and keeping very simple so do we want simple do you want sort of automatic forget about it or do we want some performance it's really up to you and uh, hopefully at uh, Hydra Center we can work these things out for you Thanks for coming and listen, listening to me on this video and hopefully it's uh, showing you a bit more about hydroponics.